welcome to Armored Good One's first playthrough of the game, Safe House Diaries. Safe House, spelled with a Z by the way. So today we'll be uh, surviving in the house, writing diaries, with these five people. Ricardo P. Ricardo was an athlete. He is 32, straight, uneducated and come from a middle class black background. He is fit and strong, practical and realistic. And he is most useful preparing the meal, patrolling outside, and creating a distraction. He distrusts young people. Abigail was a carpenter. She is 29, straight, uneducated, and comes from a poor background. She is fit and strong, practical and realistic, and is most useful cleaning up corp corpses and barricading entrances. She claims she isn't racist, she just doesn't like the look of Jennifer. Sergio was a priest. He is 32, straight, has a university education and comes from a middle class background. He is experienced and stable, socially orientated, but is not ex especially useful at anything. He distrusts young people. Javier was a firefighter. He is 24, straight, has a high school education and comes from a wealthy background. He is fit and strong, practical and realistic, and is most useful preparing a meal, cleaning up corpses and patrolling outside and creating distraction. He has a lingering prejudice towards the middle class. That dog, by the way, is from the game, not in real life. Uh, Jennifer. Jennifer was a cleaner. She is 21, straight, uneducated, and comes from a middle class background. She is fit and strong, practical and realistic, but is not especially useful at anything. She is uncomfortable around men. So, yep. So these are our survivors. But yeah, uh, I bet you're wondering what all these arrows mean. Uh, the just the line arrow means there's nothing wrong with each other. They 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 don't mind each other. Uh, same with Abigail and Javier and Ricardo and Sergio. Sergio. Um, Jennifer hasn't doesn't find anything wrong with Abigail, but Bab Abigail isn't racist. She just uh, doesn't like the look of Jennifer, so she'll have uh, she'll always hate Jennifer. Same with Sergio. Sergio. Uh, he distrusts a young person, and Abigail is for 29 and class a young person, which is true. And Ricardo distrusts young people as well, so that's why he doesn't like Abigail. And uh, these lines mean they don't like each other, like they hate each other, not just one person hates each other. So he distrusts young people, and he has a uh, prejudice against the middle class, and Ricardo's middle class. Okay, sorry if you didn't quite get that one, but I didn't explain that well, but anyway, let's survive uh, such. For anything useful, Javier and Abigail can do that. Uh, barricade entrances, Jennifer can do that slowly. Uh, watch for zombies, Ricardo, and uh, prepare a meal, Sergio. Sergio, keep it. Oh, I can't say his name. Uh, so, um, oh, that's where a part is, isn't it? Yep. Uh, on this, we're playing no normal difficulty, which means we have to find a car and escape. But uh, on easy, you have infinite time, infinite ammo, house to restock, stuff like that. And on hard, you have seven days. So get to the helicopter. Okay. Javier and Jennifer had an argument in the study. Jennifer threw a chair at Javier, but she missed and it smashed to pieces. It won't even be useful for scraps. Oh, come on! Abigail and Javier found a crowbar, a golf club, a hammer, a motorcycle helmet, a motorcycle jacket, a pair of pliers, a screwdriver, a silenced handgun, and a spanner in the basement. That's pretty good. Too bad no ammo. They also found a crossbow, nice, a flashlight, good, a guitar and a hockey mask in the basement. So Gio prepared a small meal. He stopped preparing meals because he ran out of ingredients. Jennifer broke a bed into one metal barricade. Abigail noticed there was only one shower at the house. Abigail says a quarter of the rooms have now been searched. That was quite uh, good. I'm gonna get... Uh, mm, they're not in the best of terms, are they? So I'm gonna get... Uh, just me, but no one's specifically good at it. So, uh, hmm. no, no, no one likes her. Um, actually, I could do Abigail on that. So, actually, these for anything useful. Uh, Jennifer, no. Uh, Javier, watch for zombies. With no, it's terrible idea. Mm, Sergio can stop that. What can Sergio do? Sergio. Snipes on 
Make traps, yeah, you can do that. And uh, Jennifer, maybe? No, I need Jennifer to do something else. She's not done. But she doesn't, she like. Uh, she doesn't get on good terms with anyone. Great. It's going to be a tough map. Uh, so she can scout out the whatever building that is, factory. Uh, she can investigate. And she can bring a flashlight. And a uh, baseball bat. So, that, that should be good. That's all she needs. Uh, next hour. Let's see what happens. Uh, they're still searching the house for anything useful. By the way. Four seems caught. The factory at Four Sims Court is a medium sized building with around nine rooms. It has seven doors and ten windows leading in from the outside. This place should contain a cache of small uh, small medical supplies and tools. Jennifer says it might be a good place to modify equipment. Yeah, because of all the the tools and the clamps and stuff. Jennifer scouted around a perimeter of the factory using a flashlight. She counted one zombie outside. Peering through the windows, she saw one zombie inside. Okay, so we definitely know there's zombies inside. So when we, if we attack that place, we have to probably bring the whole group to minimise casualties and uh, increase the amount of zombies dead. House, third, fr oh, night and girl, free drive, or whatever. Yeah, I can't. <laughs> Jennifer returned from her recon of the factory at Four Sims Court. Sergio didn't make any progress on his trap. Come on, oh, useless. Abigail secured a door leading to the living room. Jennifer found a cook ingredient whilst exploring. That's good. Okay, so uh, Jennifer, let's just make you go scout out this food over here. A uh, baseball bat and a flashlight again. Oh, uh, someone's using a flashlight. Mm, okay, a bar of soap. Go with a bar of soap. No. Um. Not really much here. Okay, a fire axe, I guess. Right, give it a little baseball bat. She's a fire axe. Oh, she better not die. Okay. Two Ard Moorway store. The store at Two Ard Moorway is a tiny building with around five rooms. It has two doors and two windows leading in from the outside. This place should contain a cache of medical supplies. Not what we're looking after, we're looking for food. Jennifer scouted around the perimeter of the store. She saw she counted zero zombies outside. Peering through the window, she saw two. House, three Nightingale Drive. Javier found a golf club in the basement. Javier found two cooking ingredients and three snacks in the kitchen. That's good. Abigail broke a bed into three wooden barricades. Okay, so we're getting barricaded up in this building. Oh, come on, she's like two seconds away. Well, anyone idle? No, that's why until she gets back, there's nothing else we can do. Right. Nothing's gonna happen here, really. Jennifer returned from her recon of the store at Second Arm, uh, Two Arm North Streetway. Javier and Jennifer's constant bickering is getting everyone down. Javier found two snacks in the kitchen, times two. Sergio made some progress on his trap. Ricardo pro reported that the house is surrounded by a small number of zombies. He added that the noise level of the house is low. Hopefully the zombies won't be interested. Abigail secured the door leading to the kitchen. Okay. Who was it? Was Who was bickering a lot? Je Javier and Jennifer. Okay, so Jennifer is... Oh, Jennifer just got back. So that's... Okay, so she can be sent out straight away. Oh, sure. Come on. Gotta be nice to people, Jennifer. Fire axe, try that. Mm. Yeah, that should be fine. Okay. Free Nightingale Drive. Javier found a crowbar, a screwdriver, and a wrench in the garage. Javier found a flashlight, a spanner, and a switchblade in the garage as well. Abigail secured the door leading to the living room. Perfect. Six Nightingale Drive. The store at Six Nightingale Drive has a tiny room with around five rooms. It has three doors and eight windows leading in from the outside. This place should contain a cache of weapons. That's good. Jennifer scouted around the perimeter of the store. She counted zero zombies outside, peering through the windows. She saw three zombies inside. Okay, I don't think we'll make that at home if there's that many. Oh, let's go. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. Mm. Okay. Prepare a meal. Who's good at that? Is no. Okay. No, so so you so you okay. Twelve min day. Jennifer returned from a recon of the store at six ninety girl drive. Sergio prepared a meal. He stopped preparing meals because he ran out of ingredients. Abigail tried unsuccessfully to break furniture down into barricades. Oh, that must be food. Okay, so Jennifer, get over there and you better investigate it or I'll kill you myself. With a. Where's the axe gone? Oh, are you actually joking? Oh, she's barricading. Searching. Oh, he's using both. Dual hand. Okay, so. Mm, she's literally going to go in blind. That's because she's a crowbar, I guess. If she dies, she dies. She's not useful to anyone in this group. She hates everyone, and everyone hates her. <clears throat> Ricardo and Abigail's constant bickering is getting everyone down. Oh, for God's sake, everyone's trying to kill each other already. Javier found a crossbow in the garage. Javier found a snack in the living room. He says almost all the rooms have been searched. Abigail broke her bed into three wooden barricades. <sighs> the diner at 3 Redwood Street is a tiny building with around five rooms. It has two doors and seven windows leading in from the outside. Uh, that's not that good. Jennifer is looking forward to preparing a hearty meal. Jennifer scouted around the perimeter of the diner. She counted zero zombies outside, peering through the window. She saw three zombies inside. Okay, that's useful information. Oh yeah. Alright, okay. Next hour. Hopefully no deaths. Javier found a bottle of sprites and two snacks in the living room. He also found a bandage in the bathroom. All the rooms have been searched according to him. Ricardo reported that the house is surrounded by a small number of zombies. He said that the noise level at the house is low. Hopefully they won't be interested. Abigail secured a window leading to the main bathroom. Bedroom, sorry. Oh, she's still not back. Are you, are you having a laugh? Alright, so Javier and so Sergio. Oh, everyone hates each other. Oh, this is terrible. Abigail. So who hates her? Young. Okay, activism. She was a member. No. No. Log. Uh. Is that what I wanted to be? Sp oh, took me a choice to do. Spread new rumor. I did one of that. Uh, celebrity. That was slightly, slightly middle class, uh, middle aged men. That should uh, make Ricardo and Sergio like her a bit better. Hopefully, a uh, one can be spread a day and uh, yeah, be active next hour. Hopefully, no one dies during this time. I'm terrible, uh, you're French. Joking. Oh, someone. Oh, that doesn't look good. Free Nightingale Drive. A rumor spread around the group. Abigail once wrote an article for the local paper that was slightly popular among middle class, middle aged men. On whom the rumor, Ricardo and Sergio were closer to Abigail. Javier and Jennifer were indifferent about it. Jennifer returned from a recon at diner at 3 Redwood Street. Ricardo ate a, a snack. Sergio tried to play a game of chess but no one else wanted, was interested. He is annoyed at everyone. Abigail secured a window leading to the study. Javier and Jennifer tried to exercise together but they lacked cohesion. <laughs> Javier ha now has small cuts and te tears. Don't try and. No, at least we know not to try exercise in a zombie apocalypse, eh? Yeah, oh, you can drag. Got all about that. Got a, got a breach with. Just a cricket bat, a bloody handgun, all the bullets, all these, armour, uh, bloody. Where is it? Flashlights, crowbar, uh, where's the axe? A fire axe, bloody everything, crossbow, I don't have any quills, a uh, golf club, another handgun, machete, a switchblade, 
Got a rent, pair of pliers, screw, screwdriver, spanner, uh, hammer. Oh, we can't carry that much. More. Another screwdriver, two bandages, uh, a cooking ingredient. That's it. <laughs> right, this got me some strange trip. Hopefully, no one dies. Everyone approached the diner with the intention of breaking in. They had to spend some time trying to find a way in increasing the risk of a confrontation. Let me say that again. Confrontation. They headed straight through the front door, leading to the dining area. When it came to getting inside, the hammer proved very useful. We cleared the room, taking down two zombies. We can hear half a dozen, maybe more, shambling outside the room. A small mob is gathering outside the diner. Okay, so this sounds quite bad. So they're still breaching. There's two corpses and there's only five zombies inside, according to this screen. But they said there's about half a dozen more. Okay. Oh, the X's on the map indicate zombies. Uh, there's one where the house we were before. Three, Nightingale Drive, and one at Three Redwood Street. Okay. 5 p.m. Javier ate a snack. Everyone. Oh, no. Ricardo, Javier, Abigail, Sergio, and Jennifer were still trying to clear out the remaining zombies in, uh, inside the diner. A small mob had gathered outside the place. They were barely protected. All they had between them were two hockey masks, a motorcycle helmet, and a motorcycle jacket, but it was better than nothing. Most of the fighting took place in the dining area. Javier smashed four zombies with a baseball bat. Jennifer struck a zombie throat with a go golf gopher? <laughs> golf club after smashing its torso. They got them all. It isn't the Javier the one that has like cuts and tears and he's the only and he's like the like the boss of the group now. Like, oh I've got cuts and tears from zombies already. Alright, so it's unsecured. So we need to uh get uh, let's um secure the barricade. Abigail can do that on her own, slowly, quietly. Make traps, Javier, search location, Ricardo, prepare a meal, Sergio, clean up corpses, Jennifer. Perfect! We got a oh no, I was watching for zombies. I didn't think uh have yeah. Have yeah, mate. He's free star as well. He's uh pretty good. Come on, come on, come on. No deaths. Sergio ate a snack. Ricardo found three butter knives, four cooking ingredients, a large meal, a saucepan, and a small meal in the kitchen. It's getting dark outside. We will need to be more vigilant. Vigilant, sorry. Ricardo found two butter knives, a cooking ingredient, a frying pan. A snack and a wooden spoon in the kitchen. So Joe prepared two meals, small meals. Ricardo notes there are no working showers at the diner. Oh, that's bad. Ooh, I didn't think about that. A quarter of the rooms in the diner have now been searched. Abigail tried unsuccessfully to break furniture down into barricades. Well, since there's no showers, they'll just go to the tap and start uh, washing their face. Hopefully, I think that's what people do in this game. Anyway. Well, that's been 12 hours in the game. Well, hope you've enjoyed. Uh, if you do, please uh, rate, comment, and subscribe. Come back next time. Thanks for watching.